Back in the 1970s, this was the hottest ticket in town. In those days, the 60s and 70s still, it was either the Leafs or the Argos. Blue in this town represented both. And uh, we, were, uh, we were an A-list uh, ticket. Fast forward to 2014 and the Toronto Argonauts struggle to sell tickets. Battle of the quarterbacks. The They're in a lot of trouble right now because the one thing fans want is fans want stability. And what does Toronto not have? They don't know where they're going to be in terms of a stadium. Eventually, they have to leave Skydome. That's going to happen. Also, ownership is trying to sell the team. Already in Robert With a big question mark beside who will own the team and another one beside where will the team play when their lease is up in 2017 at the Rogers Centre, the future of the Argonauts is uncertain. Certain. Last year, the average attendance at Toronto Argonauts games was 21,926 fans. The Saskatchewan Rough Riders averaged more than 37,000 fans per game. In fact, the only team that had a lower attendance than Toronto was the Hamilton Tiger Cats, and they were forced to play in a smaller venue while they awaited the completion of their new stadium. That has brought some to question, does the CFL even need the Toronto Argonauts? How bad would it look for the league if the city with the largest metropolis did not have a team? If you take out the Toronto Argonauts, you tr take out a, a, a key component. It's like taking off an arm or a limb. Like, you need Toronto if you are going to boast, if you're going to brag about a strong Canadian football league. Fans from around the league agree. <laughs> A lot of Argonaut fans in the city who watch it on television. They don't come to the game, but they watch it. Mm -hmm. So, and then that's good for, I guess, the sponsors and, and all that type of stuff. I like to have them here because I love to hate them. If an Eastern team can't remain in Toronto, which is one of your biggest metropolitan areas, then it really makes it l less likely that, like, Hamilton and Ottawa and Montreal are going to be able to maintain their teams. Oh, yeah. I mean, if we want to keep anything in the East happening, you got to keep that market alive. Um, with a city the size of Toronto, if we don't have a CFL franchise there, uh, it's tough. It's going to be real tough to keep anyone in the East interested. Even the CFL says the Argos are a necessary part of the league's success. Toronto is a fundamental part of the Canadian Football League. It's not the Canadian Football League as we know it without the Argos being part of it. I mean, they're a storied franchise and they're, they're, a, they're a hated rivalry to some teams. Um, and, uh, you know, it wouldn't be the same without the Argonauts. So what can be done to save the struggling franchise? Most fingers point to a smaller stadium, hoping BMO Field, the current home of Toronto FC, will be the answer. In a big environment that holds 50,000 people, and you've only got 15 to 20,000 in there on any given game, it just doesn't have that sense of intimacy that, that, so that breeds that sort of excitement that people get about going to a game and that creates a water cooler conversation the rest of the week saying, I can't wait to see the next one. The president of the CFL says even if BMO Field doesn't work, he believes a new home will bring a new atmosphere. That should not um, uh, play out, then we'll have to look at other options that will be uh, equally good. Despite the struggles that the Argonauts face, it seems all agree they are needed. In fact, the CFL's strongest television ratings come from games involving the Toronto Argonauts, and they hope the game attendance will follow suit as the future becomes clearer in 2017. I'm Mia Gordon, and this has been a Sun News Special Report.